celebrate her life, Lord, and to lay her body to rest. And Father, I pray for your peace above everything else. I pray for your comfort. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for her life. Thank you for her family. We just pray your blessings upon them, God. Be with them today, Lord, in the days to come. Father, we lift all these things up in Jesus' name. Yesterday. 
to conceal. Can't imagine all the pain I feel. Give anything to hear half a breath. I know you're still living your life after death. Every move I make, Ashwell, age 74, of English Court, passed away on Wednesday, November the 8th, 2023, at her residence, surrounded by her loving family. Ms. Cashwell was born on July 29th, 1949, in Sampson County, to the late Fernie Carl and Agnes Alberta Ammons Holliday. Along with her parents, she was preceded in death by her brother, Bobby Carl Holliday. Prior to retirement, she worked as a cashier at Walmart. She was a hard worker, a great cook, and enjoyed collecting hours. She loved everyone, and everyone loved her, but especially her family. She will be remembered as a loving mother. 
mother, grandmother, great grandmother, sister, aunt, and friend. Surviving are her children, Julius Cashwell Jr. and wife Maria, and Alice Marie Cashwell, heir, and Brian. Grandchildren, Thomas Michael Cashwell and wife, Brittany, Tabitha Brooke Collins and Dominic, Matthew Faircloth and wife, Kimmy, and Josie Scott Cashwell. Great grandchildren, Aiden, Gavin, Ariana, Brooklyn, Alea, and Colton. Sister Peggy Ann Rivera, special niece Melissa Hilbert, special nephew Leo Little D. Mitchell, and other nieces and nephews. May the Lord bless her memory today. <laughs> When I was young, me and my mama had beef, 17 years old, kicked out on the streets. Though back at the time, I never thought I'd see a face. Ain't a woman alive that could take my mama's place. Stripping from school, scared to go home. I was a fool with the big boys breaking all the rules. Shed tears with my baby sister. Over the years, we was bored and loved the little kids. And even though we had different daddies, the same drama with things went wrong. We Reminisce on the stress I caused. It was hell. Hugging on my mama from a jail cell. Who you thinking elementary? Hey, I see the penitentiary one day. Running from the police, that's right. Mama cast me, put a whoop to my backside. And even as a crack fiend, mama, you always was a black queen. Mama, I finally understand who a woman, it ain't easy trying to raise a man. A poor single mother on welfare Tell me how you did it, there's no way I can pay you back But the plan is to show you that I understand You all appreciate it No love for my daddy cause the coward wasn't there He passed away and I didn't cry Cause my anger wouldn't let me feel for a stranger They say I'm wrong and I'm heartless But all along I was looking for a father, he was gone I hung around with the thugs And even though they sold drugs They showed a young brother love I moved out and started really hanging I needed money of my own so I started slanging I ain't guilty cause even though I sell rocks It feels good putting money in your mailbox I love paying rent when the rent's too I hope you got the diamond necklace that I sent to you Cause when I was low you was there for me You never left me alone because you cared for me And I can see you coming home after work late You're in the kitchen trying to fix us a hot plate Just working with the scraps you was giving And mama made miracles every Thanksgiving but now the road got rough, you're alone You're trying to raise two bad kids on your own And there's no way I can pay you back But my plan is to show you that I understand You all appreciate it And dear mama You all appreciate it Cause through the drama I can always depend on my mama And when it seems that I'm hopeless You say the words that can get me back in focus When I was sick as a little kid To keep me happy there's no limit to the things you did And all my childhood memories Are full of all the sweet things you did for me And even though I act crazy I gotta thank the Lord that you made me there are no words that can express how I feel You never kept a secret, always stayed real And I appreciate how you raised me And all the extra love that you gave me I wish I could take the pain away If you can make it through the night, there's a brighter day Everything will be alright if you hold on It's a struggle every day, gotta roll on and There's no way I can pay you back But my plan is to show you that I understand you all appreciate it. Don't you know it loves me? Dear mama. Place no one above you. You all appreciate it. Don't you know it loves me? Dear mama.
there are moments in each of our lives when we are faced with questions that we we need to find answers to. Some of these questions aren't aren't very important. What am I going to have for supper today? What kind of car will I drive? Will I be a Carolina or a Duke fan or an NC State fan? But some questions are, are very important. Questions like, where will I work? Who will I marry? Will I have any kids? And if so, how many? Those are important questions, but but not the most important. Often when someone that we love passes away, we are faced with a very important question. And that question is, what happens when I die? Well, John chapter 14, verses 1 through 3, helps us to find an answer to that question. In John 14, we come to the end of Jesus' life here on the earth. He has been with his disciples for over three years, teaching them about God, teaching them about the kingdom of God and how they can live for God and how God sent him, Jesus, to set them free from their sins and their brokenness. But then Jesus tells them that he'll be dying soon himself, that he will be crucified. And it creates a quite a stir amongst his followers. And then Jesus says these words to comfort them. He says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. So as we think about answering the question, what happens when I die, this passage tells us, first of all, to answer that question, we have to look to a person. Jesus says, you believe in God, you believe also in me. See, Jesus settled their hearts. He calmed their worries. He addressed their concerns by telling them, don't forget what it is that I taught you. Don't forget how we walked the streets together, how we walked along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, how you saw me heal the lame. He says, if you believe in God, you believe also in me. Just a few verses later, Jesus emphasized the importance of believing in him when he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So we look to a person, but secondly, we also we look forward to a place. Jesus says that in my Father's house are many mansions. It's interesting because that word mansions there, this is the King James Version, but in a lot of newer versions, they use the word rooms. And there's a good reason for that. In the ancient days, back when Jesus lived, the way that families would grow is that they would grow together. Whenever a son would grow up and get married, he would return back to his home with his new bride, and the father would build a room onto their house. The next son would come along and get married, and would come back with his bride, and they would build another room onto the house. So the house would just grow so that the family could stay together, and that's the picture of heaven. It's that those who go to heaven are all one big family. And there's plenty of room for everybody. Revelation 21.4 says that God, when we get to heaven, that God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Those that go on to heaven, they have no more aches and pains. It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Those who go to heaven, they will never have to visit the pharmacy to have their prescriptions refilled. They'll never have to search to find the handicapped parking space. Because in heaven, all are healed. There is no more death, no sorrow. There's no crying, no more pain. So to answer the question, what happens when I die? We look to a person, we look forward to a place, and then thirdly, we cling to a promise. 
Jesus again says that if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am there, you may be also. Jesus made his followers a promise that when we die, we get to go to heaven to be with him. See, these, these followers in this passage here, the Bible and the New Testament, they, they loved being with Jesus. They loved spending time with him. And he wanted to comfort them to let them know that they would see him again. And friends, this promise is for us too. That although there are many, many who are called away, there's still plenty of room. And the promise is for us as well that we get to go and to be with Jesus. So the question is, what happens when I die? And it's a very important question. See, God has made the way so that when we die, we can go to heaven to be with Jesus, to be with our loved ones who've gone on before us there. And there's only one way for us to make it to heaven. Because Jesus, again, the verse I read earlier, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. So if you'd like to talk more about what happens when we die and what it takes to get to heaven, I'd love to speak to you about that. Would you pray with me? Father, again, Lord, we are so grateful for your love toward us, God. Thank you, Ms. Logan, Lord. Thank you for a life well lived. Thank you for the testimony, Lord, of her generosity, of her spirit, of her love, of her care and concern for us. Again, Lord, I pray your blessings upon her memory. Lord, bless her family and friends right now. Give them comfort and peace. I pray in Jesus' name.
for all.